We're here in Niagara Falls, Canada at the Canadian Operating Room Nurses Association. Here the 3M team is showing a really interesting and interactive booth. We're taking our nursing customers through a patient journey where they are pre, during and post-op patients and they get to feel what a patient feels during that experience. Seeing it from the patient's side I think was the most memorable uh, of the experience in the 3M booth. I felt like an actual patient going through the journey. You were able to step out of your nursing role to see how you actually are treating patients. Going into that cool room and realizing how cold it actually is and how the patients must feel when they come into our OR suite. It was really uncomfortable for me, so I can only imagine distressed patients coming in. It's not only the smell, but the, the feeling of being very cold and laying on that table. Working in the operating room, you don't feel that because you're in it all the time, but what a huge difference for the patients. When you're warm, you kind of forget why you're there. It's very comforting. It's a calming effect. You just feel calm and more comfortable, at ease, so you're not as nervous. It was quite amazing. It was like a warm hug kind of coming into you with the gown on. It was so lovely. All the education that we've received with 3M, we've realized that yes, it is important to really warm up patients. It's crucial, like there's evidence showing that it decreases your chances of getting a wound infection, an SSI. We want the patients to protect the patient from infection, but it's a team building, it's not only one person. The whole bear hugger thing is phenomenal, I mean we use it in our hospital for all our patients. Provide the best care for our patients, we do need to warm every surgical patient. Always. I always warm my patients. You can warm the patient without the doctor's orders. That's something that we can do. It's a nursing action and it's great that we can make that decision ourselves because we know the patients. 